in this video i'm going to show you how to design a very simple sports flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using so you can download them and practice and in case you do and you want to send it over you can send it over to instagram and then i'll check it out from there that said ghana versus portugal let's do this in photoshop all right so i'll be doing this in photoshop 2019 and this should work with almost any version of photoshop that you are using let's first create a new document so we go to file a new or control plus n to create a new document and then you can choose any size that you want in my case i'm going to choose 4x4 and my resolution is going to remain 300 now you go ahead and click on create let's establish our background you are going to use a gradient to create the background and some brushes so the first thing you need to do is go to the create new fill adjustment here and then you can choose your gradient over here go inside your gradient and then you can pick any gradient or any colors at all that you want to use in this case i made a gradient for you so you can choose or you can use the same colors if you want to do that this is the first color and the other one is of course like a bit of white so after you're done with this we are going to change the style to radial and then we are going to reverse it to something like this then you go ahead and then you click ok now let's go into our resource and start bringing in our images so to bring it in you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your first image so i got two pictures of the stadium the stadium 974 that is where the match is going to take place so i'm going to bring that in and then you take your time to position it somewhere around here you double click on it go to the blend mode and then you can set this to overlay now after you're done with this right click on it and rasterize it and then you can add a layer mask to it once you add your layer mask you can then go and choose your brush tool you want to use a very soft brush so you go to the very main one so general and then soft brush make sure that your hardness is zero percent and then you make sure that your foreground color is black and then you can brush off the edges something like this now let's go ahead and select this stadium and then press ctrl l to open the levels and then you can level it up a bit so you can make it a bit darker like that so that the stadium shows a little bit and then you can click on ok next off you can bring in the images so i got the image of the captains from both sides so we are going to open them up so you open it separately so the first one is going to be the black stars captain and then in photoshop 2021 you can easily go to window properties and then you can remove the background with the quick actions over here so when you click on remove background within a matter of seconds it is going to do the job for you all right so we have this and then you can take that person or you can take your image and bring it into photoshop somewhere around here it should be fine now once he's here you can add a bit of levels and adjustment depending on the image that you're using you can level it up a bit adjust it add hue and saturation and all that according to how you want it to be so you, you take your time and then you can position him over here now let's go and bring in the second image so that is going to be the picture of ronaldo over here you go through the same process so you go to window properties and then you can remove the background now you take him to your main image over here or your main document that you are working on and then you can also position him as well so you can place him somewhere around here take your time to adjust it and then add your levels hue and saturation and everything that you want to add onto this one so you can brighten it up a little bit with the levels and then you can click ok when you are done now once this is done we want to use some of the images or some of these same images as the background the first one would be the ronaldo image so you can select or make a duplicate of that ctrl j and then we can press ctrl t to transform it slightly like that and then you can bring it underneath of all the other images so it has to be somewhere around here you go to blend mode and then you can set this one to overlay so it creates that beautiful kind of showlet or 
opacity around it or at the back of it and then you can place it over here for that of the garnet captain we are not going to use the same image so we open a different image of the captain of ghana black stars so this image right over here let's take off the background and then we can bring him over here as well so he's going to be positioned somewhere around here you press ctrl t to transform him a little bit like that so somewhere around here should be fine and then you double click on that and then you go to the blend mode and set this one also to overlay i think the overlay looks too much here let's set this to soft light and let's try soft light on this one as well and see what we have so soft light and set it to 100 percent and this should be fine so once we have this as the background we can then go ahead and add the rest of the things such as the logos and then the test so on top of all of these the first one that we will bring in is the Qatar 2022 logo so it is right over here and i'll leave links to download all of them in the description so you bring it in and then you can take your time to position it press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered and then you can push it somewhere around here and this should be fine now we're going to add the logos that is the ghana versus portugal so we go inside of our resource again and then we can bring in the first logo which is ghana's logo you take your time to position it somewhere around here and then you can click ok and you position it nicely now underneath of this one we are going to create a rectangle so we make a rectangle like this a very small one it doesn't have to be that very big and then we are going to let it remain the color white right click on it and go to rasterize layer and then you can go to filter blur and then you choose motion blur this is going to give you this option right over here so you choose the motion blur and then you can click ok now if this is too long for you you can still reduce it by pressing ctrl t to transform it and then you reduce it to this side because we are going to flip the same thing to this side so we can select the two by holding ctrl that is the rectangle and the logo and then we can press ctrl g to group that press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can press ctrl t right click and flip it horizontally this is going to create this for us so it can be facing each other like this and what we are going to do is we are going to just get rid of the Ghana's logo from here and then we are going to bring in portugal's logo so to make things easier for you you can even use your rulers over here you drag it to about this side drag this one also here so that you can know the exact position so you can even zoom in some more and know the exact position to place the portugal's logo so that you can have it on the same sizes so after that you can choose ctrl t or press ctrl t and then you can resize it to fit and once you have it like this you can then select the two groups and regroup it to make it all one again and now you can press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now if this is too big you press ctrl t to transform it some more and then you can center it and position it slightly above like this now it's time to add the test so for the test so we're going to choose a font called Sinzel. i'll leave links in the description as well so you choose that one and then we are going to type over here ghana select all of it and make sure that your font is black click ok and then you take your time to position it over here so ghana and then we make a duplicate to the right side and then we can edit that to portugal just make sure that it doesn't go so close to the logo and then we make one more duplicate bring it in the middle and then we can type the verses so ghana versus portugal press ctrl t to transform the verses a little bit because it has some quite some space in there so you can take your time to just position it over there now we're going to add the date so let's make one more rectangle over here like so and then we can keep it white color right click and rasterize it just like we did for the rectangles above and then go to filter blur and then motion blur and then we can blur it a bit like that as well and then we can add a date to it so it's going to be 24th november so for that we are going to choose the font poppins and choose 
poppins bold over here so that we can make this test so so it is going to be november 24th 4 p.m gmt and then you can take your time to position it like that as well right after that you can make a duplicate underneath of it and then you are going to add the stadium where it is going to be played so we quickly edit that and that is going to be the stadium nicer for doha so let me just quickly select all of that go to the character and paragraph panel over here changes to all capitals and then we can increase it up a little bit like that now let's quickly go back to the ghana test that we made here and borrow a test from that so ctrl j to copy that and then we are going to change this one to match day press ctrl t to transform it to make it a bit bigger right click and then flip it 90 clockwise then you can position it somewhere around here make sure that it is centered and then you can go to the fill over here turn all of that to zero percent and then right click on it go to the blending options and then you can add a stroke to it so we are going to add a stroke of white or white strokes to it you can even decrease the size a little bit to about four and then click on ok now right click on this rasterize layer style and then you can go to the blend mode and set this to overlay if it feels too big for you you can also decrease the opacity from here as well so that it doesn't feel so much like somewhere around i think 90 percent to do and you can even transform it slightly as well press ctrl a just make sure that it is always centered and that should be fine now let's add some icing to the cake so let me quickly just make this change over here this picture looks very quite dark so let's open it up a bit okay and then you click ok now at the back of these ones you are going to apply a couple of things so you select the stadium right on top of that and then you are going to download a brush that i will include in the description so this brush or you can even download it from brush breezy as well so on top of this we are going to make a new layer and then you are going to select your brush to right click and then go and choose the brush that i've included in the description it is called the paint brushes set so we are going to use the number two over here once you choose that make sure that your brush your foreground color is white and then you can make just a stroke of brush at the back here so it gives you that sort of effect you can even make some more if it depends on how you want it but then i think a couple of two or three should be fine so that it gives you that kind of brush strokes at the background which makes it cool and then on top of that we are going to add our particle so you go to file place embedded and then we are going to import in the particles over here so you bring in your particles go to the blend mode and then you can set this to screen right over there now we want the particles to be somewhere around here and then we want it to be more quite some more so we can make about four more duplicates of it select all of it we can group it right click and then go to convert to smart object over here and then we can still go back to screen so that it merges right over there for us so you can take your time to position over here and then you can reduce the opacity a little bit so that it doesn't show but you realize that there is a straight line over here so we can right click that rasterize it and add our layer mask go back and choose your brush to remember we just used this brush but that is not the one that we are going to use you go back to the general one and choose your soft brush and then you can paint off these ones right over here now you can make a duplicate of this particles or these particles which is which and then bring it somewhere around here and close it slightly like that after that you can then go on top of all of these and add a bit of curves to it so you go to your create new fill adjustment you choose your curves and then you can add a slice of curve to it to make it a bit darker so that the particles and everything can show and once you're done with that right on top of that we're going to add this flare to it so you go into your particles and then you can add your flare to it you can position that one anywhere you want it so we want to position it over here make one more duplicate ctrl j and then you can drag it right underneath 
another duplicate and then you can drag it right over here as well now this looks very bold let's select all of that and choose semi bold instead so semi bold should be fine and just like that you create a very simple yet nice football flyer in photoshop don't forget that i'll leave all links in the description to download any resource that i used in this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this one thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye